Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I am doing the q and A. I I said that this would come out like one day this week because of the whole birthday packs and there's a lot of special packs coming out and yeah. Um, so we're going to do a QA. and a I got quite a lot of questions actually. If I miss a question, I'm sorry. Um, but I got most, I'm pretty sure I got all the questions that I could from the two videos that have been put up. So, the first uh, question is from uh, uh, Di... Dil Di Dilzo Stuart, I know who you are. Don't worry. Um, so play more GTA 5 and do you like pizza? Around the question, but yeah, I I'm not sure. Maybe if my channel gets bigger, I might make a second channel where I play GTA. If you watch my previous video, like some of my first videos on my channel, I made like all my old videos, fingerboarding videos, all private for school reasons. You know, you know how school people can be. They can just play your videos and shit. So yeah, my, my first few years I played Minecraft and I played a bit of GTA as well. I did the GTA funny moments, wasn't that funny though, but you know. And do you like pizza? Yeah, I do have like pizza. I'm having pizza tomorrow actually, which is really cool. So yeah, <laughs> that's the first question. Um, second question, we have Johnny the Boss. Are you going to do a setup video? Please shout me out. Well, there you go. <laughs> I shouted you out, Johnny the, Bo Johnny the Boss. Am I going to do a setup video? Yes, I am. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a full setup video. So don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content or just yeah. So yeah, just uh, look forward to doing that. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and then you'll see a setup video at 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, uh, that will be coming. And then we got uh, oh my god, Gutty Chris 13. I think that's it. Do you follow a uh, any religion? No, I don't. Um. I'm not actually sure uh, if I'm a Catholic or whatever. I don't think I am anything, to be honest. Um, who do you think will win the Champions League this year? Hmm. Um, I can't. Uh, Bayern Munich. I want Bayern Munich to win. Um, Bayern Munich. I love the Germans. I love Germans so much. Um, I'm pretty sure I want uh, Real Madrid. I'm pretty sure they're still in it. Or um, Bayern Munich to win. I love Bayern Munich so much. It's such a good team. And yeah, I think they deserve to win. Um... This is, I'm not sure this guy's English, but his name looks Alex Alexander Cola. Would you rather quit YouTube or quit playing consoles? Um, I think I would rather quit YouTube because my channel isn't exactly big now. But if I was a like, massive YouTuber with like 100,000 subscribers, I wouldn't, I would quit playing consoles because there's other things to do. Because you can play PC, you know. But uh, now, at this moment, I would rather quit YouTube because my channel isn't exactly that big at the moment. So yeah, that's that question. Um, this question, we've got Just FIFA HD. Would you rather pack Team of the Year, Ronaldo or Pele? Choose wisely. I know why he said choose wisely, because he, I'm guessing, he is referring to the this Pele, which is the troll Pele that you from Southampton that you always get in packs, which is spelt that way. So I'd rather get Team of the Year, Ronaldo. I knew that was trying to trick me, but... I'd rather pick two of you now though. <laughs> so next question, we have got Bad Ward Warledge. What would you do if you pack Ronaldo, Messi, and Eber in a 7.5k pack? Honestly, I have. I would actually kill myself. I had no idea. I don't know why I do. I would probably just look at it, scream a little, and just walk out of the room and have a mental breakdown. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below what you would do if you got that in the pack. Um, I think that's my dog barking. Uh, we've got Ruben Arroy. Uh, where do you live? Um, and do you plan on playing other games? Right, obviously I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live, but I live in England, obviously. Uh, just out, just outside London, pretty much. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and do you live plan or do you plan on playing other games? I do play plan in other games. Um, I might, as I said in the last question, uh, previous question, I might start a new a, a gaming channel when I get a little bit more um, subscribers on this channel. Like maybe if I get like 2,000, 3,000 subscribers on this channel, I might start a new a uh, gaming channel for that. Um, so yeah, that's that question. We've got. Amy, what made you play FIFA as you don't really watch football or play it? Um, who said I don't really watch uh, football? Um, I don't have Sky Sports at the moment, so I can't really watch the major games, but all the games that are on like uh, the normal channels, I'll try and watch. But it's mainly my mum that is just taking over the TV. Uh, what made me play FIFA? 
the World Cup. Um, <laughs> as you saw, uh, I don't know if you guys are sticking around when I did match attacks and stuff. I bought the World Cup binder. Um, in 2010, I was like 10 years old, I bought the World Cup 2010 sticker book. And I thought, as it is the World Cup last year, I thought I would buy the binder and the sticker book thing, panini booklet thing. I thought I'd do that, do the match tax, and then my good friend Kyle, um, Southbreak Fingerboards, I think his name was, he, um, I traded him a fingerboard for FIFA 14. Then I got FIFA 14, streamed FIFA 14, did trades, uh, my stream is so shit, that's why I don't do streaming anymore until I get good Wi-Fi. I did that, and then the season of FIFA, FIFA 15 came out, I bought that as soon as the, on the release date for PS3, and then at Christmas I got FIFA 15, so yeah, that's basically why. Because um, the World Cup, I actually, I love flags, like, I, I love countries, I love different types of countries, so... That's why I like the World Cup because it's all different countries. But yeah, that's basically why I play FIFA because I just love the World Cup and players now. So basically, that's how I started playing FIFA. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit weird, really. Um, this question we got: Carlos Morrison does making videos with sort of a lot of time in school. Yes, it does. It really does. I come home from school about like half three. Um, I try to make a video. I make a video record it, uh, edit it, as well as watching all the other YouTubers videos. I always watch YouTube, I always put them in my watch later, I always watch I always watch every FIFA YouTubers video that I'm subscribed to, as well as editing and upload a video and sometimes when I don't upload it's because my parents take me out for dinner and I can't upload a video and that takes up a lot of time because I've got to do um, I can't edit my video at home because I get home late and I can't watch my videos and yeah so yeah it does take up a lot of time but on holidays which is the Easter holidays coming soon I will have a lot more time to do my videos maybe two a day I might do I don't know uh, the, the, the road will take me wherever it goes but yeah as soon as I get into like college or something it's gonna be even more time consuming so yeah um, Hopefully it doesn't really. Um, and then go for a crazy. I think you did a question in my last Q and A. It says, "Have you ever thought about playing pairs?" I actually have, but I don't have enough money to buy pairs, which is actually pretty annoying. Because on the weekends I could buy pairs, but I choose to buy FIFA po FIFA coins to provide FIFA content. But if I probably if my dog doesn't stop barking, I'll fucking kill him. Can you hear that? Let's fuck my dog. He won't stop fucking. To talking or whatever, barking. But yeah, if I actually get manage to get enough money to buy FIFA coins and pairs, I will buy pairs as everyone seems to be playing it now. I want to see what it's like basically. And, and then we got Johnny the Boss again, who's done another question. What inspires you to do YouTube? Right, my YouTube goes back a long, long, long way. If you want me to do a reacting to my old videos video, I will definitely, because my old videos are so embarrassing. I was like, I was 10 when I made my channel. 10. Yeah. And it was so embarrassing. I started doing tech decks, you know, tech decks, little fingerboards. I started doing that, and then I went on to actual fingerboards, or wooden ones and shit. Actually, I've actually got one here. I'm pretty sure I've shown you this before, but, um... This is a fingerboard, it's a wooden one. Um, I still have one left because I sold my old ones. Um, but yeah, that's the fingerboard. I started doing my channel on that, and then I did Minecraft, and I don't know what the fuck I did. Um, but yeah, I think it was my friend Sophie from school. She told me um, to make a channel, so I made a channel, did random videos, and yeah, it made it started from my little flip phone, and then went going into iPhone 4 and tech decks and shit. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically what inspired me to YouTube. I can't even remember what I actually want to do, but I did stop for a while, and yeah. So, any tips? Not really. Well, as, as I'm not a massive YouTuber at the moment, I don't really... I think it's all about the equipment, um, your, your Photoshop skills, I guess. Your I do all of my banners, my Photoshop myself, so that takes up a lot of my time because I need to edit my videos and edit my Photoshop um, thumbnails as well, which takes up a lot of my time. So yeah, I think it's all about quality on your editing and your um, Photoshop, your design and stuff. 
So yeah, I think that takes up most of it. Um, but yeah, that's my tip, basically. Last question I've got here comes from Bondini. Have you ever used a legend? I have used a legend. If you saw in my last video, I was trying to sell my legend, Suka. I've actually had quite bought quite a few legends. I've had uh, Palo Future. I bought him. I uh, didn't have him for long. Got bored of him. Um, Beerhoff I've had. Uh, Fowler I've had. Sheringham I've had. And Suka. Suka was by far the best legend I've used. Uh, but I had to sell him because I needed coins. But yeah, I would definitely recommend using Suka. He's actually quite cheap. He's like 750,000 coins. But yeah, if you want a around 1 million coin legend, Suka is actually really good, so I recommend him. So yeah, that is the end of my Q&A. If you want me to do another Q&A, leave a comment down below. If you want me to do a reaction to my old videos video. And yeah, as I said, my setup video will come out when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a like down below, and comment on if you want to do those videos so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe as i already said and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace guys